Yep. Okay. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, I'll follow on golden, 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 golden things. in spring rainbow trout and hummingbird wings golden I follow my golden 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 things gold hair gold rings Feet step over splinters of the moon. Good morning and welcome to my morning routine. If you are new here, hello, my name is Emma. I'm so glad that you're here. And if you're not new here, welcome back. I'm also so glad that you're here. It is currently 5 35 in the morning i just finished kind of getting ready um doing my really quick 15 minute hair and makeup routine that i just showed you and i figured this would be a good time before i continue to get ready to stop and enter this video and just kind of talk with you for a little bit i've been debating how i wanted to film this video um because i love y'all know i love a good aesthetic morning routine with the cozy vibes especially because it's fall and i definitely want to film one of those when we're like in our new house in like a weekend morning routine that's a lot more chill during the work week that's just not realistic during the work week my mornings are not aesthetic or cozy or um any of those things they are real i thought in the spirit of being transparent as i always try to be i would try to share more of a realistic morning routine as a working mom and kind of share the things that i do to make sure my morning starts off good to make sure my day starts off right because I am a big morning person I always have been and I think that's because your morning just sets the tone for your entire day so if I wake up in a chaotic mood or in a bad mood or my morning is just very flustered it sets the tone for my entire day and then my whole day feels off or flustered and I hate that so if I can do things to start my day off on the right foot it always helps my day go more smoothly so especially as a mom i have just learned over the last nine months my daughter is nine months old if you're new here um she's currently asleep i've just learned a lot of things over the last nine months especially as i have now been a working mom for six of those nine months like i said it's like 5 30 almost 5 40 now um i leave the house around 7 30 but she'll wake up in about an hour so i need to be ready before she's awake um, so I think I'm going to get dressed and then we'll like sit down and I want to share some of the tips um, and things that have helped me as a working mom um, incorporate into my morning routine. So I'll be right back. I'm not wearing this to school, although I would 
really love to. Um, this sweatshirt, by the way, is from Pink Lily and it is the best thing in the whole world. I like the corded ribbed sweatshirts. They are the bomb, so I will link this for you because you need it. Okay, let's get changed. Okay, here's what we went with today. So fall was in full swing last week, but today it's supposed to be 85. So I'm trying to summon the fall vibes because it is October now with this really cute orange bodysuit from Amazon. This skirt is also from Amazon. It is one of my favorites of all time. Um, this little sweater I just threw on because of the morning. I'll probably take it off by the afternoon, but it's from Walmart. I get a lot of questions about it. Um, I don't even know if I've ever been able to find a link, but Walmart has some great clothes, you guys. And then my shoes are from Target, but I will definitely be swapping these out with some slippers until I leave, but I just wanted to kind of show you the whole outfit all together. I just want to sit for like five minutes or so before I go have breakfast and like continue with my morning routine and just kind of talk about some things that have really helped me as I navigated this journey of balancing being a working mom. I will be super honest, it's been a real struggle this year, way more than last year. Um, I had my daughter in December, so I came back from leave in March and I'm a teacher, so I taught March through May and then I had the summer. March through May was hard, don't get me wrong, but something about like this school year has been a totally different beast. With that, I've really had to nail down this morning routine make it as efficient as possible because our days are busy and long and they start early. So like you saw, I wake up at five and that is just because I, this is tip number one, I guess, I give myself way more time than I need because life happens. No matter what, we have to leave the house no later than 7.30 to get her where she needs to be and to get us to work on time. And so that gives me two and a half hours from the time I wake up to the time we leave the house to get myself ready, but also get Jordan ready, get everything packed for the day. Like it's a whole process. And I like to give myself more time than I possibly need because I hate feeling rushed. I hate feeling flustered. I wake up earlier than I need to. It also gives me some leeway room. So I wake up earlier than I need to. So that way I'm never stressed, I'm never flustered. Um, I have plenty of time like right now to just sit and talk or do whatever I need to do. Tip number two is to be over prepared. This is nothing revolutionary when everyone says to, you know, have your things packed the night before, get your lunch packed. We make the coffee the night before. I lay out my whole outfits for the week. I make sure my backpack is packed. I make sure Jordan's diaper bag is packed. Like everything when we go to bed is ready for the next morning. So all I have to do is worry about getting myself ready and getting Jordan ready. And all those things are not an added thing on my to-do list. Honestly, that's whether you have a kid or not, but especially when you have a kid, it just helps your morning go so much more smoothly. Find something in the morning just for you. Even if that means you wake up 10 minutes earlier, I just really enjoy sitting, drinking my coffee, sometimes listening to a podcast or worship music or something, sometimes just sitting in silence and having that time to myself first thing in the morning is really, really helpful for me. Just like Michael, wakes up earlier than he needs to. Right now he's in our gym in the garage. He's working out. That's like his thing that he does before she wakes up. Just something to take even 15 minutes. Take my time getting ready. Drink my coffee. Just to have that time to myself. Okay, this is the last one because I need to go eat breakfast. I try to be completely ready for the day before she wakes up. I don't get her out of her crib until 6.30 at the earliest. If she's still sleeping, I'm gonna let her sleep till like seven, but um, she's usually awake around 6.30, if not a little before. Um, so I make my goal to be completely ready by 6.30 for the day, like everything, my lunch packed, my breakfast done, dressed, ready, packed, everything done by 6.30. So that way from 6.30 until we have to leave at 7.30, it is 100% Jordan time. I've got about 20 or 30 minutes until she will be getting up. So I'm gonna go eat my breakfast and make sure I'm ready to go. I know that I packed my lunch last night, so that's good. I know that she's packed, but I just want to be sure, so. Let's go.
<laughs> Good morning. Take me to the jungle. Teach me to Pony. Yeah, is that your ponytail? Yeah. So silly. Let's get dressed. Here we go. So it is 7.54, just made it to school. My goal is always to be here at by eight, which always happens. The sun is literally blinding me, but I feel like if I do this, the lighting is worse. Um, but I wanted to like really quickly share something. I shared this on Instagram recently, but I feel like it's a part of my morning routine and I wanted to share it for that reason. Something that has significantly changed my mornings is the way I spend my commute to work. I left my mother-in-law's at like 7.30, it's 7.55. So it's like a 20, 25 minute commute for me. And I used to kind of do whatever on my way here. Like I usually listen to a podcast or I am listening and responding to a Marco Polo or something like that. But I found, I kind of talked about this earlier, that it made my morning feel more chaotic. Like when I fill my mind with other people's thoughts first thing in the morning, it kind of makes my day start just a little bit more chaotic. And so I've started being very intentional with the way that I spend those 20 minutes in the morning and I will only listen to worship music and just spend my drive worshiping and praying and just kind of preparing myself mentally for the day and that has made a significant difference in my attitude as I go into work right now and as I take on my day that I'm not feeling flustered I'm not feeling chaotic I am feeling very much at peace and very filled highly recommend just being intentional and purposeful with your mornings because I feel like it has made a huge difference not only in my mornings but in my attitude at work the entire day Oh 